first impression video of a game called Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Um, I say first impression, but I've played a game like this uh, on my... Well, the first time I played it was on PlayStation uh, back in the 90s called Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Uh, when I worked at Funkoland, we were giving away the um, soundtrack. It didn't come in a, in a case, but it was a cardboard sleeve and the disc was just in it you know it's flat and i took many of those you know when, when you work there there are many perks when you work uh, especially you know back then in the old days uh, but when you work for you know shops like that uh, you could take all the promo stuff um, so I, I took a whole bunch of those uh, soundtracks uh, i remember there was one guy there uh, he didn't work there but he he worked there for the day uh, he, he normally works at another store. He was an assistant manager. I hope my voice is coming out okay, but the music sounds a little loud to me still, but there's nothing I can do about that. Um, well, anyways, he bought the Japanese version of Castlevania Symphony, Symphony of the Night, which came with the soundtrack, and he was telling me that it's different, and the soundtrack is different. And we pop it into a PlayStation, and we play it, and it was exactly the same soundtrack as a free one that we we're giving out. And I think he spent like ninety to a hundred dollars on that on that import, which was kind of high, I guess, for back then. Uh, so he was a little mad at that. Uh, the next time I played Symphony of the Night, and I did beat it you know, back in the day. Uh, I think I got to the point where it, the castle flipped upside down uh, but I, I didn't play through it again, I, I stopped there. Uh, I played it again on my 360 uh, and of course I still enjoyed it then but uh, it never came out on PC. I think the makers of this game of Bloodstained Ritual of the Night are the same people or at least maybe some of the members. Uh, the same people uh, who did Symphony of the Night. So, um, let's, let's go give this a try. Oh, look at this. So, I'm able to use mouse and keyboard. So let's go ahead and try that. Uh, yeah. We'll, we'll keep it. Oh. Okay, we'll start with that. Okay, some enemies, well... Oh, okay. The Industrial Let's Revolution ushered in a new era that threatened to transform the values of men. No longer would spirituality be their compass. But not all welcomed the change. In 1783, just as the fires of the Lackey eruption had plunged all of Europe into an ashen darkness, a horde of demons spilled from the shadows and fell upon city after English city. It was a message. The Alchemy Guild, fearing the rise of industrialism and abandonment by their wealthy patrons, had done the unthinkable to defend their existence. Through recondite arts, the alchemists had created shard binders, humans transplanted with crystal that attuned them to demonic power. 
They sacrificed the Shardbinders, and in doing so, threw the gates of the world open to demon kind. Countless innocents died, and though the Church succeeded in vanquishing the Hell's End, a steep price had already been paid and collected. As for the Shardbinders, they were presumed to have all died in the sacrificial rite. However, two survived. Jebel, the boy for whom by some miracle the rite did not prove fatal. And Miriam, a girl who spared the rite altogether on account of the strange slumber that took her just before it could begin. Ten years have passed. Mankind too soon forgets tragedy. The demons have returned, presaged by a great castle. And on this very hour, Miriam awakens. Upon learning Jebel is the architect of this new, bloodstained ritual, Miriam and the alchemist Johannes set forth for the accursed castle. Their galleon cuts through the water, glancing towards the inevitable. Ooh. Really nice graphics. Wow. Johannes, are you certain it was... Wow. It was Jebel's doing, Miriam. No mistake. It's so hard to believe. I wouldn't even be alive if not for him. He's a good soul. I know. I know how you feel. But the facts are apparent. And the hell he endured ten years ago would break the best of souls. Miriam. I want you to know that I'm sorry. What my brother subjected you to... There's no forgiving it. It was their transgression, not yours. You... you always took care of us. Obviously not enough. Well... Let it go, Johannes. We need to focus on the task ahead. If Jebel is responsible for the summoning, then I have to stop him. I... I ought to do it. Oh, shit. He was my best friend. But I'm the only one who can. The Shard experiments prepared me for combat. Let them amount to something. <sighs> Ten whole years. What put me in that sleep? I wish I had the answer. All I know is the spell that stopped time for you was... advanced. Arcane. But by observing the ebb of the magic's hold on you, I was able to predict exactly when you would wake up. Oh, I see. We'll make landfall soon. You should get ready. I had the chest there packed with essential equipment. Now would be a good time to put it on. Oh, yeah. A gun can be shot by equipping a consumable bullet. Uh, when you run out of type, that type of bullet. Oh, okay. Fine. What chest are you about? Oh, this chest. Oh. Oh. Press R to open main menu. Oh, very good. This is very much like Castlevania Symphony of the Night. So I'm so glad that I bought this one and I discovered it. I just, I saw that uh, this was one of the games on sale. I, I got this on GOG, by the way. So this is not on Steam. Um, so, you know, I'm trying to, uh, especially if it's single player games, I will try to get it on GOG now. Uh, but, you know, I, I would still support both. But to be able to play, you know, a Castlevania Symphony of the Night type game 
again is, is great. Accessory that resembles ram horns, Miriam's favorite. Risky bandana, skull cap for your skull cap. Skull cap for your skull cap. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. The next order of business is to... Mm. I'll take care of it. Oh, you... Oh. A shard, a crystallized form of demon power, it can be handled by an ordinary human being. Conjure shard. Press F to trigger projectile magic. It consumes magic point. Okay. Uh, Cerulean splash. Launch a bouncing ball of water at enemies. Was that a shard? I'd forgotten the way it felt. Like uninvited claws scraping across my bones. The demon's power was transmuted into that shard which forcibly bonded to the crystal embedded in your body. The strength you gain from it is undeniable, but eventually, the crystal will devour you. I thought the procedure you discovered halted the corruption. It did, but that doesn't guarantee you'll be safe if you start absorbing shards in massive quantities. I know my body's limits better than anyone, and I'm going to need all the power I can get. And if I run into trouble, you can help me. You've done it before. You'll do it again. <laughs> Thanks for giving me a choice in the matter. Well, I won't let you down. Not if I can help it. Just promise you won't push yourself. <laughs> How did they get inside? The demons from the castle must have infested the ship. Then they can help me wake up these muscles of mine. I'll wipe the deck with them. Okay, and most likely true to Castlevania Symph Symphony of the Night fashion, uh, there are certain rooms where I can save. And see this? This is like Alucard's like power slide thing. And it was like, I don't know if that's true here, but it like seemed like it was faster to do that than to just uh, walk, you know. demon that must draw form and sen sentience from other sources. Oh, that is great. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. 
wondering what that line was up there on the map. Consumable items can be used by pressing R under inventory. Okay. Device responds to magic. Maybe I just need to hold my hand up to it. There are certain doors that are opened by holding Marion's arm in front of it. Tilt to do designate direction. Oh. Oh, that. Were just be endless. Oh, I, yeah. Yeah, okay. Pennsylvania, there was a room and there was a coffin in there, and you just basically sleep in there, and that's how you say it. Mm -hmm. well, Probably not going to be as good as that DLC stuff. It looks like I got everything, right? Like I got all the DLC, maybe? That's what it looks like. Um, tunic. Oh yeah, that is good. Yep. Oh! From my studies, I have found the existence of the following attributes. Oh, okay, so there's all those different icons for different damage type. Mm -hmm. Oh, this must be... You can save your progress here. Walk over to the bench and tilt up. Uh, uh. Yes. Yes! Okay, excellent. Now, there was a trick I used to do on the PlayStation with a it's a off-brand controller. It was like a, a rapid fire controller. And you would use rubber bands and stuff. And I would hold down like a certain button. And I think just basically run in a corner or something or just stay like this and just keep swinging. And enemies would come and then I would go to work and then, uh, you know, when I come back, I would be so many levels uh, ahead. I 
musket. Really? Take, take ammo? How do I equip the secondary weapon? Kung Fu shoes. Oh, look at this shit. Muscatoon. Okay, infinite rounds. I will try the gun for a while. Shard aim with uh -huh. and press to activate. Cast magic toward the aim direction. Okay. I don't like that button. Flame cannon launch a fireball in the designated area. a um, visual cue, you know, the, the wick. What is this? Candles can drop a mana rose when destroyed. A mana rose is a magical rose that slightly replenishes magic points. Risky blade, right? Yeah, this is really powerful. Or a risky pistol. 
Okay, hold on. Okay, this one's up. on the map. Okay. Mm -hmm. Air kick. Perform up to three spin kicks by repeating the same command. Kung Fu shoes, or Gong Fu shoes, or dragon shoes. I don't understand, but... Thank you. 
I using the, the Kung Fu shoes? Oh. Okay, let's try that. Double jump, yeah. Okay. 
doesn't seem like I can dodge in time. Really. Sleeping beauty, you've decided to awaken. Sheeple, tell me you didn't do this. It doesn't make any sense. How does it not? After all the sins humans wrought upon us? Johannes told me what they did to you. And you're right, it's horrible. But what you're doing now is just as bad. No! No, there you are. Very wrong. What the alchemists did was reshuffle our bodies. What I intend to do is reshuffle the world. I'd say I've earned the right. Join me, Miriam. You're hmm. the only one who understands the pain I feel. What? I never thought I'd hear those words from you. I was the one that came to you broken. Convinced I was a monster. And you told me- This is nonsense. You told me our power doesn't make us good or bad. Our choices do. I'd mm. given up on my humanity, but you restored my hope. Don't you remember? <sighs> Master Jeebel, we must return. Miriam, I tire of reminiscing with you. You're here to kill me, aren't you? Then first prove you can find me. Along the way, you'll have no choice but to absorb shards and avail yourself of the powers of hell. If you can still claim to be human at the end of it all, then perhaps I might be more inclined to listen. Come, Gregory. We're leaving. Mm -hmm. It's a little... It's, you know... Debo, wait! I have an okay time. A decent time controlling the mouse and keyboard, but yeah, I, I the controller. You know, just like when it was on PlayStation and then Xbox 360, I would have a much more easier time. Crashing tentacle attack foes with one uh, of the power's tentacles. I saw it. Just a flicker. That was the Jeebel I know. I will put a stop to all this. Mm -hmm. Very badass. Very excellent graphics. Wow. Oh. We're, We're here. here. Was this a village? What happened to it? I'm glad everything is voice active. That's the good. The demon's Jeebel summoned? They've moved faster than we hoped. Miriam, we have to hurry. 
This was where we were supposed to meet our contact. All right. But wait. Let me clear the area. There are still demons about. Okay. Let's get to the next safe Promise point. you'll be careful. Just hope that she's still safe. This is very exactly Castlevania, just different names, different locations. And I love it. Point and which one going to stamp. Oh, okay. Wow. I really love that art style of all of this. You know, back in the day, we used to watch things like Robotech, you know, Vampire Hunter D, all of that. Oh, thank you, Miriam. And I think whatever the second blood. Uh, a vampire hunter D was called. Was it called like Bloodlust or something? You know who I am. Ninja and Scrolls, means... all of that. Uh -huh. I'm His sorry friend. we couldn't get here yeah. sooner, Dominique. Dominique. So this is our contact. Yes, the church sent me. As you can mm -hmm. see, I know a thing or two about expelling demons. An exorcist. Then we're lucky to have you, Dominique. Yeah, you know. I was even a fan of the Castlevania Netflix series. And Very the church cool. you, Miriam. Thank you for guiding her here, Johannes. You wouldn't have asked if it wasn't important. But you should tell us why you need her. Miriam isn't one to shy away from danger. But she deserves to be armed with all the facts. Yes. Very well. I told you when I contacted you that the Shardbinder Jebel is responsible for summoning the castle. Yes, there's no mistake about that. He admitted as much. What? You spoke to him? Then let me get right to the point. I find it curious that the outpouring of demons, facilitated by one Shardbinder, just happens to coincide with the sudden awakening of the other Shardbinder, after exactly ten years. You're right, it is strange. But the Church doesn't get to drag Miriam into this just because the timing is odd. Oh, do you decide for her then? I asked you to bring her here so she could see the horrors that have befallen the village and make an informed choice. I have no intention of forcing you, Miriam. You don't have to. I gave Jebel my word that I would stop him. What happened here only strengthens my resolve. Thank you, Miriam. I am sorry to put it on your shoulders. Um, pardon me? Oh, hello there. Are you all right? We didn't mean to ignore you. I'm all right, thank you. You are quite welcome. Do you have a name? Anne. What a lovely name. Anne, you shouldn't be out here. Let me take you somewhere safe. Oh, all right. Come on, this way. Let's just look at these graphics. Look at that gorgeous backdrop. Oh, oh. I did some looking around before, and this place seems secure. Yes, agreed. Johannes, you, Anne, and I will remain here. We can assist Miriam from safe ground. What? We can't ask her to brave the castle alone? Of course you can. Don't be foolish. She is trained in combat. We would only get in the way. But that's not the point. I'll be fine, Johannes. Please don't worry. <sighs> All right. But we'll be here if you need us. Let's not waste any time. We you have a lot to do. will always be here when I need you. Come back if you need anything. I'll get a workshop running so I can perform alchemy for you. Oh, very cool. Thank you, Johannes. I like that. I know you're strong, but be careful. Well, thank you, young one. <laughs> I will. 
Okay. Isn't that? Oh, God. What do I just aim at it? Okay, so it didn't do anything. I need to key it in, I guess. <sighs> Dominique, what is oh. all this machinery? That is photographic Shit. equipment we've been working on. Photo. Graphic? To put it more plainly, it allows me to capture images of real life, landscapes, people. What? Really? Uh, can I try it? Unfortunately, I don't have the silver bromide I need. I'll see if I can find it. Be right back. I don't even... I don't even see Dominique. Where is she here? Oh, she's... Oh, there she is. Okay. And where's that man? Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed. I can very, very highly recommend this game also. Uh, I think the last game that I did a first impression video, uh, I think it was called uh, Fighting Fantasy Classics. It was like a endless quest slash choose own adventure uh, book kind of game. Uh, I highly recommended that as well. And here is another one that is like a throwback game, even though it's not technically, uh, but a throwback really a replica replica to uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night even the name Castlevania Symphony of the Night and this one Bloodstained Ritual of the Night right uh, very derivative of each other in a way um, but you know I can highly recommend this if you're into side scrollers or into Castlevania series and especially Symphony of the Night uh, do check this one out uh, it is on sale right now uh, both on GOG and Steam for like $10 so, um, yeah, that is it, and see you.